Hi everybody. Yep, it's me. It's Anne. I'm back again. And I did quite a bit of work to get the colors together to do this rainbow. I probably scavenged through, doubled up, and overlaid about six colors in each stripe to try to get the colors to look like I wanted, wanted them to look and to be clear enough that it would show up on the camera. Yes, this is a talkie. This is another one of my lives matter. And yeah, I bet you can figure out where I'm going. Okay, let's start with something. I am part of the LBTG community. And my dog is going to get slapped. He's at it again. Jeez. My husband is part of the community. That's why we get along so well. For one thing, we're perfectly well matched. A lot of people that I have interacted with over the years, because I do, I did the science fiction and fantasy fans conventions, and gay and trans and bi was not an issue there. You showed up, you did your thing. If you happen to want to dress as fits your identity, nobody said a word. Nobody bugged you. Because that community said, okay, sure, fine, come on in. I appreciated it. One of the problems we currently have is there are other people who have no tolerance for anybody who is different than they are in any way. We are losing members of the LGBT community left, right, and sideways. And it's not right. You can tell me all day long that you don't believe in that lifestyle. And honey, I will sit here and argue back with you. You can believe or not. That doesn't change the circumstances of being fact. The medical profession and the scientists have found more and more evidence that this is something that people are born with, no different than a brown-eyed family producing a blue-eyed child. No different than somebody coming out albino. No different than somebody coming out with one leg shorter than the other. It's not a choice. People don't make this kind of choice just because they're going through a phase. People don't choose who they fall in love with. It's not a lifestyle decision. It's really not. I'm 60 years old old and have been dealing with this since I was a teenager. I am a cisgendered white woman, well, mostly white. I've got a few other shades in the family history. But because I love differently than what some of the rest of my family understands or wants to quote-unquote believe in. I don't talk to a lot of them anymore. I've gotten fairly lucky that most of the ones from back up in the hills 
who would have possibly shot me if they knew, have already crossed over. I fell in love with my husband because he is the person I fell in love with. The fact that he's got parts that match the quote-unquote natural order of things, according to some, was not, it was neither here nor there. It had nothing to do with it. We both were of the opinion, whoever we fell in love with, that's who we'd be with. And yeah, we have. So, you know, if that offends you, even though I cherish all of my subscribers and my followers, I really do. But if that offends you, have a nice life. People are being killed because of who they are, which is not a choice. It's no different than any other alteration that's ever been born. It's how we're wired. And when trans women are beaten and killed just because some jerk found them attractive and then found out that they weren't what they expected, How much more selfish can someone be than to take another's life just because they thought they were attractive and then found out it wasn't what they expected? You know, you could have just thrown your hands in the air and said, oops, sorry, and gone on your way, but no. You have to get so offended by the fact that somebody is different that you're willing to kill them. I'm trying to be good because when it comes to this topic, it's not only near and dear to my life and near and dear to my heart, But I seriously get right up in the Samuel L. Jackson on this. I don't use polite language over this. We are losing good people who are doing nothing but living their lives the way their lives have laid out for them. Yeah. It's a lot more noticeable in the last few years that people are living their lives. They're not hiding as deep as they used to have to. LGBT lives matter. These people are not doing this to make a big statement. They are not doing this to, to, to rub their families' noses in it. They're doing it because it's how their lives work. They're doing it because it's how they were made. They're doing it I'm doing it because it's how my life was created. This is another 
issue that has gotten just incredibly divisive. There's murder constantly. There's mayhem constantly. It's like, look, I'm a little old lady. I've got grandkids. Do you really think it would change me in the least other than to make me madder than I already was if some straight-laced ding-dong came running up and beat me up in front of my grandchildren? just because maybe I'm wearing my rainbow pin that day. Or I get up and, eat and go out with my eyes like this. Wouldn't be the first time. Pride parades are a good excuse to get out and show support and claim your space. This is part of my life. I was born this way. LGBT lives matter. For all of the LGBT community that has been lost to this kind of hatred. Go with the angel.